Have you ever wondered why despite their strength and adaptability, the Neanderthals, our closest extinct relatives, simply vanished from the face of the Earth? In the grand tapestry of our planet's history, the Neanderthals stand out as a fascinating chapter. These beings who were not too dissimilar from us, thrived in harsh conditions, exhibiting remarkable resilience and adaptability. Yet around 40,000 years ago, they vanished, leaving behind only traces of their existence in our DNA and archaeological remnants. This abrupt disappearance of the Neanderthals has intrigued scientists and historians alike. Numerous theories have been proposed, attempting to explain this sudden extinction. Some suggest a changing climate, others point to competition with Homo sapiens, while a few even theorize the spread of disease. Each hypothesis carries its own weight, contributing to an elaborate puzzle that continues to baffle us. Let's dive into the abyss of the past to unravel the mystery of Neanderthal extinction. One theory proposes that Neanderthals didn't exactly go extinct but rather, they merged with us, Homo sapiens. This intriguing idea is known as the interbreeding theory, and it's been gaining traction in recent years, thanks in part to some compelling genetic evidence. The crux of the interbreeding theory is that Neanderthals, who were already living in Europe and Asia, interbred with Homo sapiens when they arrived from Africa. This mixing of genes didn't just happen once but may have occurred several times over thousands of years. The result? Well it's possible that we modern humans carry a bit of Neanderthal in us. But how do we know this? The answer lies in our DNA. With the advent of advanced genetic sequencing technologies, scientists have been able to extract and analyze ancient DNA from Neanderthal fossils. They've found that about 1-2% to of the DNA of people of non-African descent comes from Neanderthals. This suggests that our ancient Homo sapiens ancestors didn't just meet Neanderthals, they formed intimate relationships with them. Now this isn't to suggest that we are simply Neanderthals in disguise, far from it. While we did inherit some Neanderthal genes, the vast majority of our genetic makeup is distinctly Homo sapiens. But the presence of Neanderthal DNA in our genes does give us a fascinating glimpse into our shared history. It paints a picture of a time when our world was a melting pot of hominid species, each contributing to the genetic symphony that would eventually become us, modern humans. This theory has the power to change how we view Neanderthals, not as a separate, extinct species, but as part of the rich tapestry of human evolution. It's a reminder that we're not as isolated as we might think, that we are in fact connected to all life on Earth through the intricate web of evolution. If true, this theory means we carry a piece of Neanderthals within us, a testament to our intertwined past. Another theory points to a more formidable adversary that Neanderthals might have faced, Mother Nature herself. Climate change is not a recent phenomenon. It has been a part of Earth's history for millions of years, Neanderthals who thrived in the chill of the Ice Age, found themselves at odds with a rapidly warming world. The theory suggests that these drastic shifts in weather patterns could have led to their demise. Imagine a world where the icy landscapes you've adapted to, where you've hunted woolly mammoths and sought shelter from blizzards, is suddenly transforming. The ice is melting, the grasslands are expanding, and the mammoths are disappearing. You're a Neanderthal, and your world, as you know it, is vanishing. This period of warming, known as the last interglacial, saw temperatures rising swiftly over a span of a few thousand years. The rapid climate change would have put immense pressure on the Neanderthals. Their specialized hunting techniques, tailored for large Ice Age mammals, would have been less effective in the new environment. The food resources they relied upon were dwindling, and the Neanderthals, it seems, were unable to adapt quickly enough. Moreover, these climate shifts were not a steady, one-way process. There were periods of rapid warming followed by sudden, intense cold snaps, known as Heinrich events. These abrupt changes would have further strained the Neanderthals, making it harder for them to predict and plan for the future. But the climate change theory is not without its critics. Some argue that Neanderthals had survived multiple climate shifts in the past and question why the last interglacial would have been any different. Nevertheless, the theory holds weight. It paints a picture of a species, specialized and successful in their niche, suddenly thrust into a world they no longer recognized. In the face of such unforgiving elements even the strongest of species can falter. Some researchers believe that Neanderthals were simply outcompeted by a more advanced species, us, Homo sapiens. In the grand theater of evolution, competition is a recurring theme. It's the story of the swift outrunning the slow, the strong overpowering the weak, and the ingenious outsmarting the simple. 
In this narrative, researchers theorize that Homo sapiens, our direct ancestors, may have been the superior competitors that led to the Neanderthals' demise. This competition theory is a complex tapestry woven from strands of technological, cognitive and social advantages that Homo sapiens are believed to have held over Neanderthals. Let's unravel these threads one by one. Firstly, Homo sapiens were technologically superior. They crafted delicate and intricate tools with a precision and diversity that Neanderthals couldn't match. This allowed them to adapt to a wider range of environments and exploit a broader range of resources. Secondly, Homo sapiens are thought to have had a cognitive edge. They were capable of abstract thought which gave rise to art, symbols, and perhaps even language. This mental prowess enabled them to strategize, plan and imagine in ways that Neanderthals likely could not. Lastly, Homo sapiens had a social advantage. They lived in larger and more interconnected groups, which facilitated the sharing of ideas and resources. This social network might have acted as a safety net during hard times providing a buffer against the harsh realities of the Ice Age. But let's not forget, these are all theories. The truth about why Neanderthals went extinct is likely a blend of many factors. And while competition with Homo sapiens might have played a part, it's far from the whole story. Yet there's something haunting about the competition theory. It's a stark reminder of the ruthless efficiency of evolution. It's a tale of survival and extinction, winners and losers and the relentless march of progress. The survival of the fittest, it seems, is a merciless rule of nature. The last theory we'll discuss paints a grim picture of a prehistoric pandemic. Our exploration of Neanderthal extinction takes us now to the disease theory. This hypothesis presents the chilling prospect that our ancient cousins, the Neanderthals, could have been wiped out by diseases brought by Homo sapiens, our direct ancestors. Imagine the scenario, bands of Homo sapiens, migrating from Africa and the Middle East, carrying with them unfamiliar pathogens. These diseases, to which Homo sapiens had developed immunity over millennia, might have been entirely new to Neanderthal immune systems. This could have led to devastating outbreaks among Neanderthal populations, with potentially catastrophic consequences. Evidence supporting this theory comes in part from our understanding of more recent history. We know that when populations come into contact for the first time, the results can be deadly. For example, the arrival of Europeans in the Americas resulted in the spread of smallpox, measles and other diseases to indigenous peoples, leading to massive death tolls. However, it's important to note that this theory, like all theories of Neanderthal extinction, is speculative and based on indirect evidence. There are no preserved Neanderthal bodies bearing unambiguous signs of disease. And while we can see the evolutionary effects of disease in our own genome, tracing these effects back to specific interactions with Neanderthals is challenging. Yet the disease theory remains a compelling possibility. It speaks to the often overlooked power of invisible enemies and the vulnerability of populations encountering new pathogens for the first time. It reminds us that survival is not just about strength or intelligence, but also about resilience in the face of disease. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of our past, theories like these provide tantalizing glimpses into the lives, struggles, and ultimate fate of the Neanderthals. These theories are not just about understanding why Neanderthals disappeared, they are also about understanding our own journey as a species, and the forces that have shaped us. Could a prehistoric pandemic have spelled the end for our Neanderthal cousins? These theories, while different, all attempt to shed light on one of prehistory's greatest mysteries. The interbreeding theory posits that Neanderthals didn't vanish but rather merged with the Homo sapiens gene pool. Its strength lies in genetic evidence but it doesn't fully explain the disappearance of distinct Neanderthal features. The climate change theory suggests drastic environmental shifts might have been too harsh for Neanderthals. It's compelling, considering the Earth's volatile past, but it doesn't account for why Homo sapiens survived these same conditions. The competition theory argues that Homo sapiens outcompeted Neanderthals for resources. It's logical but doesn't consider evidence of peaceful coexistence. The disease theory proposes that diseases brought by Homo sapiens wiped out Neanderthals. It's plausible given the historical impact of epidemics, yet it lacks concrete evidence. While we may never know for certain what caused the Neanderthal extinction, these theories offer fascinating insights into our shared past and the ever-evolving story of human evolution.